she's first. First in. She gets her choice of seat. <laughs> I have a shelving unit and I've got a bunch of stuff stored there in boxes. And of course, they're not clear boxes, you know. So I opened this one box and, oh man, I found a bunch of good stuff in there. And then I thought, oh, I should, I should do, and I do to some degree, but not as much as Kathy Cow, Calico Kate does. When she makes, um, say, like clusters or tags or whatever she's working on, she makes a bunch of them and then puts them in a box or a container. And then when she's got a project going on, she can just go to her resource and pull it out. And I remember a couple of years ago, and they may still do it, um, Tanya McGuire and uh, Lisa Conway, they, um, at the beginning of the year, I think they did it a couple of years, maybe it was just the once, I'm not sure. But they worked on different things and building their stash for the year. So instead of, okay, so you're working on a junk journal say and you want a tag and then you guys put everything aside build your tag you know so this way it's just some of the stuff you have laying around you're just putting it together and building some things to um keep handy for when you're building a page good morning chris nice to see you how did your stream go this morning girl i was still snoozing <laughs> I'm always sorry to miss it. I have to go back and watch. But um, I just thought I might use some of this, these bits and things that um, I found in this box and then some other stuff. So I pulled out some fiber. I did a little bit of um, die cutting this morning because I wanted these little book plate looking things here. And I made a little bit of coffee it's not as strong as i usually make it i thought it was a little see because it looks really strong but it's not really that strong so before you popped in it went good dedicated to color pencil tips Ooh, i definitely have to watch that and um so i just stitched on some circles here and i'm using my heat gun dry up some of this paper this is just the book sheet so I'm just doing a little bit of prep, pre-prep prep. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Kathy. Kathy, my friend in real life. Kathy Atkins, my friend in real life. Okay, so I've got some three by five cards here. And this, of course, this stuff is wet. I've got See, the thing of it is, and I've told you this many, many, many times before, and I think um, many of you are probably like I am, we don't throw a lot of stuff away. And the reason is because when you do something like this, all that stuff comes in handy. And if you're new at junk journaling or move my camera down a little, it looks like it's going to start jumping. Uh, collage or any of that stuff and you watch some of these videos or watch some of us live and you think man but they have such great stuff well a lot of it is just I'm sorry to say trash right just pull stuff out of your mail just keep little scraps little bits because things that you work on and you do see when they get stained this is a great piece of fabric for another project so that's kind of what i'm going to work on today i hope i hope i hope i hope all right so one thing i want to show you is i've been working on uh my last stream we worked i called it let's talk trash and i was working on my tim holtz packaging um journal and I did go around and stitched. I talked about going around and doing the blanket stitch around the edge, even though when I stitched this, I finally remembered that I put this through my sewing machine to pop the holes there. And it got a little wonky. So someone in chat had encouraged me the first time I started to create this to just let it be wonky. So I did. So I did my blanket stitch. And then I was chatting uh, with 
calico cape. And I said, you know what? Maybe I'll tat a little bit around the edge. Well, it's a bit fiddly, but I like it. So I'm getting there. It's uh, hard on my arms because of the way I have to hold it. So I haven't gotten it finished. So that's what I've been working on. Now, Murray from the Murray Atelier, she created a um, little chat group. And I was showing the girls in that. So I wanted to show that. What does Chris say? I've decided to throw things away. I don't have enough space. Well, you know what? Sometimes you have to do that. But for folks that maybe don't feel like they have a lot of resources and they don't have a lot of stuff like we do, um, an easy way to build up some kind of a stash is to keep some of your trash. That's what I'm saying. Keep some of that trash if you want to build a stash. I think that could be a song. So let me get my box. Let me get my box. Then I found some other stuff, of course. This I forgot I had. This is cording I purchased at Goodwill once, like a beaded curtain. It had long um kind of bugle type beads wood and round wooden beads that made like a curtain and it had all this really cool cording inside well i cut that all apart and kept that so i thought that might be good if i'm if i need any kind of uh, fibers or taggy stuff and i wanted to show you this too i a little while back i don't know if i'll have any of those in here oh, here's some i was saying i had made these little tiles and i had some um pre-cut tile things they were like this Let's see if i can find a finished one like some of us call them inchies or twinchies oh heaven some look at joy i can't get them out so these weren't my originals these are ones i did on a stream and you certainly can cut your own you know do your own thing on them decorate them up but I had mentioned that I had come across some art squares and I wasn't sure what they were well here they are art squares from inchy arts these are three inch and they were they're cut from mat board squares and I've got a couple different sizes in this container so when I run across stuff like that that I know I've mentioned, when I finally figure it out, I'd like to, to tell you about it. Let's see what I'm, I'm missing here. I know Brenda was supposed to say something about downsizing. Oh, Brenda's going to be moving. Ah, Chris doesn't do Okay, yeah, yeah, you don't need any of this jazz. You don't need the jazz. So in this box, I found different things, different shapes, different pieces of cardboard and things that I thought I might, you know, make some tags out of. So let me just pull some of this jazz out. And then, of course, there's other things here uh, that I'm going to glue on top of those. Let me just see. I'm just trying to look for some basic shapes. Good morning, Andrea. Nice to see you. Shari, did I say good morning to you? I was busy yapping and I saw you come in, but I'm not sure if I actually said good morning. All right, here's some pre-cut cards. See, some of these are, and most of the stuff and journals and things that I do, I, you know, they're not real big. So some of this stuff might be a little, little large. I'm going to be cutting them down. I'm going to be cutting them down now for me and what i need for uh stuffing into journals and um, filling up junk journals might be tags um little cards maybe little books you know and um 
some of these you can see I already spattered and did some coffee stuff on. Now these are really wide. I think I might trim some of this stuff down. And a lot of my stuff is uh, vintagey looking and a little, um, you know, on the grungy side. Not terribly grungy like um, steampunkish. Not like that. Like primitive-y kind of, you know. This was from one of those flow magazines, I think. This is, a, yeah, flow, a flow book. So I'm going to try to keep these somewhat neutral, the things that I work on this morning. And um, not really maybe a whole lot of detail, just depends. I got to say, I think I got off on my medication, so I'm feeling a little odd this morning. I'm not sure how long I'm going to last. But we're, I'm going to go. We're going to go with it and see. Um, I hate to cancel. I felt okay when I got up this morning. We're just a little shaky. So I did take my medicine. Lori doesn't do well with taking her medicine. She forgets. And then she doesn't have. She has a medicine box. But she doesn't use it. And she's usually being reprimanded by her husband. <laughs> So this is instant coffee in here. I just uh, heated up some water in the microwave in my little bowl. And see now this car, we're at an animal rescue site. This came with something I, I purchased. So it might make a cute card. So I'm going to just paint some of this coffee on here. See, because that's just a little too bright. A little too bright for me. All right. And these tags, I'm just going to scrub some of this stuff on now. I'm using this uh, Jane Davenport brush. And I will tell you that if you get an opportunity to purchase some of these brushes, I've really been pleased with them. They're really nice brushes. The only thing I don't care for, of course, is that tail. It's very cute. But I like to store my brushes in a container upside down and, and the, the tail kind of kind of gets in my way on occasion. But as far as using the brush for painting and different stuff, like this one, you can really get, I don't know if you can see, you can really get nice shape with some of your brush strokes. Anyway, I need a snack on the tush for what? What did I do? What did I do? I don't know why. Tell me what I did. <laughs> don't tell me. Tell me. Okay, this I was stamping on. We're not going to get to all this stuff. Oh, for not taking my meds. Okay. I know. Well, it's like one of these things. The one I take, I take Cymbalta for um, a little bit of anxiety, but mostly it's for my fibromyalgia. And uh, I don't want to double take. So I wasn't quite sure. See, I interrupt myself. I have my routine and then I get out of my routine, you know. Excuses. It's all excuses. My husband gets very annoyed with me. All right, let's just, uh, now these are all going to be wet, you know. Let's just jazz up some of these. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I was very uh, inspired by Murray's little, um, well, by a lot of stuff Murray does, but Murray's uh, little tea bag book or journal. You know what I mean? I don't know. Some of you may have seen that. Where she took some tea bags and made a little matchbook kind of thing to do as a tuck in. Okay, let's see right here. Let's see. So this is the kind of thing I'm going to do. Now this is a coin pocket. And I have some of these somewhere, but who knows? Who knows where? 
So this is one that I made a while ago. See, that would look cute and tucked into a pocket of a journal. Now, obviously, I've got a second. I've got two of these die cuts. So this is the only one I found this morning. Obviously, I've got a smaller one, but the holes are real small, which is nice. See, these holes are bigger, so I'm not sure how I'm going to make out with. I've got different size brads, so we'll just see. But <clears throat> now this one is gigantic. I know, right? This is a um, graphic 45 goose from one of their Christmas an older Christmas um, pack or whatever you call. What do you call them? You know, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Okay, this these guys are just too chunk, too chunky monkey for me. So I'm going to get my cutter and let's trim these down. I know I'm kind of all over the place, but I've got my Timmy uh, crayons in the drawer, so I might use some of those. I might use some of those waxes that I made up the other day, uh, inspired by Amy from Al John channel. Now this I have to try to keep, because I already punched a hole. I'm trying to keep my the hole somewhat centered, which, well, I can cover that up. But see, this is what I do. Uh, kind of a little bit of a cheat to get my corners. Good morning, Gail. Um, I just put it on the edge. And then I just trim. If I freehand this, I never get them to look normal. And I don't know that, hey, there's Kim. Good morning, Kim. I don't know that I'm going to um, finish all these. I might get them to a place where then when I'm working on a specific journal, then I can just add something to it to work with the journal, whether it will be a pop of color or it might be a, a fairy if I'm doing a fairy journal or a garden journal, you know, to add, you know, you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> right. At least that's my idea. I don't know if it'll work. So how is everyone as you're coming in? I hope I didn't miss anybody. I think today might be opening day for my Phillies, but I'm not sure. And I'm just not. In my groove yet, my Philly groove isn't that terrible. I did watch. Well, I, oh, I mean, leaving that one a little longer. I watched a little bit of the game yesterday. The Texas Rangers uh, beat the snot out of them. Two games, two games. I turned it off yesterday when they were down. Hmm. What was it when we turned it off? I think it was 4-3, and they weren't doing so well, and Hubby came home, and I said, oh, go ahead and use the TV, honey. It's okay. You know, I don't have to watch. And uh, my sister's messaged me, and said, I might get myself confused here. It's now 10-3. I think it ended up 13-something, or I don't know, probably more. Oh, Gail. I mean, Brenda, how nice. Okay, Gail's doing okay. She's got her knee replacement on, it's Tuesday, right? The 4th is Tuesday. Like, I know it's the 4th, but I'm not sure if Tuesday is the 4th. Oh, my gosh, my grandson's going to be 5 in a couple of days. April 8th, how can that be? How can it be? How can it be? All right, now I need some dry stuff. Dry bones, dry bones, dry bones. So you gals that are here or the replayers, keep our gal in your 
thoughts and prayers, if you will, on the fourth. And she's going to have new replacement. We expect that she will do excellent. All right, some of this stuff is damp. I'm going to pull out some dry stuff. So I want to pre kind of pre do some things. Uh, let me get some dry ones here. Now, this is kind of cool because I already have the number stamped on the side. This is a little damp because I just painted that. Let me get this out of the way. So if you're new to doing any of this kind of stuff, geez, my camera is just, I don't know, it's jumping like crazy again. Um, if you do any of this kind of stuff, there's Pam. Good morning, Pam. Um, it's layers, building layers, you know, and you, you get yourself into a groove and you just start going and you go with what you got and see how it, it turns out. And a lot of times it turns out Tom terrific. Now let me grab some of my tissue paper. See, I throw everything up on my keyboard. I know I shouldn't do it, but I do. I do. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to put my brush in my water. So just like anybody else, I got to get my bearings to get my groove going. Uh, let's see. I need some kind of a little. I had a little stencil that I always keep up here in front of my face. And I don't want to have an avalanche. And of course, I've moved it. I didn't pull out my stencils. Let's get some. Let's get some tape. I didn't pull out my um, a lot of my washi tape too. Washi tape, if you have that, tinkle tape is good to use. Uh, all kind, you know, just all kinds of stuff. I'm looking for a little. I need some kind of a little background here. I've got everything buried. I thought maybe I'd like like be able to pull out my um all right, give me one minute, please. I'm a stacker. I just keep stacking. I'm looking for my, I it was right here, I have a, um, oh, it's not there, envelope pocket, storage type journal that I, I uh, keep my stencils in, and I thought I had put it right there, but I do not see it. Well, here's a cute, uh, napkin we can use stamps well i might come across it as we work three more rows of your scarf that's wonderful that's quite a project it's looking great pam looking great okay so i want to put something behind here and i need something that i can use as a stencil of some kind see the problem with me is once I get a thought in my head I have a hard time letting it go for sure I really do have a hard time letting it go mm-hmm Bum, bum, bum. Yes, there's, there's Dawn. Good morning, Dawn. I'm just saying good morning because that's it's morning for me. And I think for most... Oh, there it is. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Goody, goody gumdrops. Right, this is a little mini stencil that's very handy. And I'm going to grab one of my... 
little makeup brushy things. And I'm going to get some kind of, now I've got green on here that I stamped. So I'm going to get, I've got my peeled paint ink. But let me grab something uh, in the brown family. Let's see. Gathered twigs. Let's grab that. Yeah, I got this at the uh, the market. I don't know who sold it. But it's so nice to have something little that you can keep by your workspace. Now, of course, I had other colors on this, this uh, brush, which is, is okay for me today. It's all going to work. Now, I got in trouble the other day with numbers. I'm covering them up. I'm going to be covering stuff up. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to use a glue stick, I think, today. And I'm just going to start popping stuff down. I'm just going to start popping. Let's get another piece of something, something. That's a wide one. I don't want a wide. I don't want it to wide. Now, of course, if you're organized, which I'm sure you probably are, you can get different stencils out. Hey, Kathy Burke, good morning. And, um... Maybe do a little better than I'm going to do here because I just have um, this one little stencil. I mean, if you could see, I'll take a picture. You think I'm kidding. Let me take this picture and you'll see. This is how Lori is. She gets things out. She works with them and she takes a couple days before she puts them away. This under here is a file cabinet drawer that's out. And see, I've got all kinds of stuff stacked on there. And underneath that stack is my envelope. I call it a journal, but it's my envelope's like storage container. It has all my stencils in. I love jury duty. <laughs> Looks familiar. I absolutely love jury duty. You have to understand, I worked in the district attorney's office of Bucks County for 12 years of my life. It was very, very um, interesting and um, fun time of my life. It was a a fun job and at times scary. I worked for uh, the county detectives uh, well, I, and for to the first six years and then I moved over to work, I've said this before, with the attorneys. And because of that, I was not eligible for jury duty because our office worked with the courts and that's just how it was. You know, you, were, you just you weren't eligible. Good morning, Janice. All right, let's get one of these index cards too. Let's throw some of this stuff on here. All right, let me get my... See how this is if I ink it. Yeah, that's what my husband keeps saying, but I got so much weighing down that the actual cabinet. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. I've got my printer on top of it. I have got four units of drawers with stuff in it on top of it. But I, I hear what you're saying. He's always telling me the same thing. 
It's very practical, you see. Oh, let's glue this down first. So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of building the base for different things that I can use to stuff in a journal. You know, to make it cute and attractive and appealing. And I think I saw Brenda say, yeah, once she makes, or somebody said, it might have been Brenda, I'm not sure. Once you make the journals, got nowhere to store them. Well, I'm hoping to sell some of my stuff. So I'm a, I'm a maker from way back. Did a lot of craft shows and venues. And I like to make it because I like the process and the... Um, I just like the whole making thing. I was just, I get enjoyment out of making it, but I don't need to keep everything I make. And I got to tell you, my family's over it. You know, they don't want to get, they don't want it anymore. They don't want to, they don't want it. Just being honest. So if somebody else can enjoy it, see, that's my thing. I like all that. I don't want to miss chat. There is still a little snow, says Pam, but most of it is melted. That's good. Melting's always better than shoveling. Okay. Now let's ink a little bit here on the edges. So like I said, I'm going to try to keep most of these as neutral as I can. Because for the most part, until I am in need of stuffing a pocket, these are going to stay in a box to be reserved, to be used for something. And I might cut them. I might fold them, you know, I'll just see. We'll just see how it goes. I don't know, a lot of different ideas of things to do today. I don't know, I'm kind of all over the place. I got, uh, it's the first time I'm keeping a somewhat of a desk journal, if you will, where I'm writing down different ideas and things. Oh, look, this got into some coffee. Let's try that. So we can use it. Tissue paper should dry pretty quick. Yeah, normally if I don't take my medicine for three days, I feel like this. But boy, I feel a little, a little off today. I think one of the hardest things for me to learn doing um, this kind of stuff, this um, embellishment, ephemera kind of stuff, is layering. And, you know, just cutting things apart and using portions instead of, you know, using it as a whole. Um, cutting things apart is really difficult for me. Not a book. I can cut a book apart. See, I'm not a reader. But I mean like a Timmy, like a Timmy thing, like a Timmy card. Cutting into a Timmy card is just it's really hard for me. The thing is, if I got picked for jury duty, I don't follow anything. I guess I like to be informed. Yeah, I'm, ag I'm agreeing with Brenda. They want folks like you. So you can just make uh, an opinion of what you hear in court. You're not influenced by anything other than that. You have trouble layering too, Kim? Yeah. But once you get the hang of that and you do and you can do that, Man, you're golden. You're on your. You are on your way. Now, see, some of these are too 
big. Another thing I like to remember, now some of this stuff I cut out, see this here, I cut this, this out. You know, I was saying the other day, when you take apart a um, Reader's Digest in the front cover, in the front and in the back, I know there's a name for it. You know, you get these extra sheets of paper. And they're different colors. I save all that jazz because, see, it, it looks cool um, when you want to cut something out, a die cut, or just rip it and use it for an under underneath part. Uh, underneath part is a very um, artistic terminology, underneath part. Okay, somewhere here I have a bag where I threw all different kinds of stamps. So let's get my little. This is a portion of Stampin' Up's French script. It's a big block stamp. Took it off the block and whacked it up. I'm going to get out my ganache. <laughs> Her ears must have been burning. There's Kathy. There's Kathy Cowell. Are you on the ship? We will. We will just. Oh, I missed it. It looks like they just boarded. Maybe they just boarded. Cool. Kath is on her way to the Caribbean. Now, I'm not so much concerned about this getting a great um, image. Oh, it's this top of that. No, that's right. Okay. I thought maybe I had it upside up, side down, round and round. All right. This is drying out. Let me see if I can. This is going to be a challenge. Okay, there's my stays on gothic purple. Stays on jet black. You know what I'm looking for. Ganache. I'm going to re-ink. Re-ink, re-ink. And I'm thinking I'm not going to have to worry about squishing the scent. Yeah, see the pad's just drinking it up. I'm not going to put a lot on there. See, now I'm just, I am going to do a sample because I just put some on there. Okay. I know I'm being really messy. I'm a sorry. I'm a sorry if that bothers some of you. So I'm just um, putting a little bit of this stamp underneath. Just all background. And then depending on what you're doing or what you're working on, you might want to then um, get a focal point. Now, some of these, I must have done some kind of a prompt and then decided to cut the, these coins out. Um, who knows? Who knows why I do what I do? Hey, Ange. Ange is on a cruise. Is your nose going to get bigger? I'm not sure that's going to stick real well. Let me use a little bit of white glue, I think, on this. This coin's um, with some kind of cardstock. I wanted to mention this the other day. If anybody likes to play word games and you don't mind putting an app on your phone, I've been playing a word game called Wordz. Wordz. W O R D Z E E. The little fellow looks like a little little marshmallow. If anybody wants to play, I'm pink early on there. It's kind of like um, Scrabble. 
Scrabble, not Scrapple. Scrabble. April Fools. It's not April Fools, Angie Marie. The only cruise I'm on is to the craft table. Angie's probably trying to get stuff ahead because she's gonna have that. She's gonna have that left hand fixed. Suffering succotash. Suffering succotash. I remember that. I do love to ink. See now, you don't have to do a whole lot to them to, for for it to start looking. I think you know, cute. All right. Now we could frame that, or we could frame. You know, we could frame anything. The thing that I like to remember is that I don't always like my, um, if I use a brad, I don't want my brad sticking out the back of my card. So I try to remember, oh, this is a double. I try to remember to put my brads in first. Now let's see. And it doesn't have to fit in there. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to have a picture that's exactly like that. At least I don't think so. Let's see how it looks. Let's see. See, this is all jasmataz that I found loose in that box. This might be a good, I want something much bigger. This might not, maybe not a good example. Let's see what else we got in here. This is bigger. I may change my mind. I don't know. I mean, you could do that. There's nothing wrong with how that looks, I don't think. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, I'm not, I am not crazy about the white around the edge of some of these flowers. I think this is uh, Tim Holtz stuff. Um, so you can ink it. You can certainly fussy cut it. Not doing that today. Um, just, uh, just off a little bit. I'm not going to be fussy cut. No, fussy cutting it. Oh, this is the wrong. Oh, but maybe this is not the box I thought it was. Wow, they're huge. So that's cute. That's like a little button. That's a brad. That's a little flower brads. These little sparkly green numbers. I might think about that. Let's see how that looks. I've got flowers in here, but I was looking for the Timmy ones. I've got those in a different box. I've got green ones too. That's the brand. Let's see what size I have here. And then of course the inside of these, when you cut them out, they're, they're great too to add words and whatnots on there. The die cut that I have, I think I put it back. It's got three different sizes of these. Uh, I guess, what would you call them? Um, book plates, maybe. Well, that'll give a little sparkle to it, won't it? Let's see. Let's see how it looks. I know this is outside the box, but that's okay. We've been there before. And we know how to get ourselves back in the box. All right, so I'm just popping a hole with my pokey tool and trying to avoid my fingers. So, of course, I'm racing around trying to get together 
things for my stream and I'm trying to cut these little book plate things out and the uh, the die was in this plastic container I don't know that I've ever used it could not get it open hubby's not home <sighs> popped a nail so last minute, I'm trying to put on my nail. Now, I also want to be mindful because I don't know where I'm going to use this. I'm not, I'm not wanting to put a whole lot uh, at the bottom and at the top, maybe, because I might have to trim. I might have to trim. Now. Where did Lori put some of her favorite stuff? Her gauze, her um, cheesecloth. I should have a chunky chunk of it somewhere here. I didn't think to get out the cheese. Cool. Did I? A little bit of felt, and a little bit of felt, and a little bit of this. Bop, 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 bop. We didn't get any fabric. Let's take a little piece of this. How do we get talking about Muppets? Love the Muppets. I love Kermy. Oh, yes, not Philippicus, for sure. Thanks, Brenda. Now, I want to put some stuff underneath this um, before I glue it down. I'm going to use hot glue. Yeah. See now. Oh, you got it started. <laughs> no problem. I was just curious. I missed that part. My kids, my kids love this. Of the Muppets. All right, so let's get a piece of that. And I want some stuff, you know, hanging out. And I'm not going to put any words or anything on. At least that's what I'm saying right now because I just am wanting to make. Oh. Oh my gosh, if I can't find any of my, I keep moving stuff. Oh my gosh. When I go to Goodwill, I'm always attracted to tins. This is a long tin. I don't know if it had cookies in it. Yeah, I don't know, chocolate cookies or something in it. And it's long and narrow. And I usually have a bit of, oh heavens, to Mercury. I usually have a bit of um, cheesecloth in here. Oh, it's disappointing. Disappoint. Oh, look at this cool. Look at this coolness. I stamped on a piece of, um, I don't know, that's real stiff. Oh, that's cool. Look, and I could use that on one of them. Cut a piece of that off. Oh, my goodness. How can I forget to dig out cheese cool? It's like one of my favorite things in the in the wide world. Mm -hmm. Surely I have a little scrubby scrap of it somewhere. So you see how it's hard for me to let it go? I could always add it later. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 but I just like it sticking out from underneath.
Hubby brought me home some mealworms yesterday. So I'm hoping the bluebirds are still in the area or are on their way back. All right, I'm just going to, because it's quick, instead of using a, a white glue, or and I don't think the glue stick's really going to hold this so great. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, Pop some hot glue in there. Now, realistically, you know, I can put some lines on the back and um, pop this in. If I choose to later, I can always angle the top, put a hole in it. You've been die cutting this morning? Oh, great minds think alike, Ange. So I think we'll call that one done. See, now we've got these other ones under here started. They don't all have to be the same. Now I've got that um, index card look here. I know, I was so excited. <laughs> I don't know if they'd be good. I'm going to fold this. I don't know if they'd be good on a salad. <laughs> we had a discussion for a couple of weeks if i'm if i'm honest about you know they're they're expensive which they are but i do and i got a crooked but i do love watching the bluebirds i just was able to attract blue well i haven't really tried before last year this summer really I don't know if I like that. Boy, I'm loving this. This is a piece of, I think, like canvas fabric. And it, it's got like hop. Ooh, it's like coppery. It's got a coppery, shimmery. What the heck did I stamp on there? I'm going to have a hard time sticking that down. See, I'm folding the index card because I want to take advantage of the lines inside. Oh, Barbara. Hello. We've been missing you, Barbara, Miss Barbara. <clears throat> Kathy Whitney, good morning, good morning. Um... I don't do the live. I'm just a little nervous about live mealworms. So these are really like croutons. These are like crunchy. Crunchy, 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 crunchy. Okay. Get a grip, Laura. Get a grip. All right. Let's see. Oh, oh let's try a piece of... Mm, that's kind of dullish. Oh, you are, Kath? Kath, I was, I mean, I was so excited. I thought I saw them, and just looking at a regular birdhouse we have in this garden outside my slider door here. And it was raining, and I was pretty sure they were bluebirds. And I thought they were going to, I thought they were going to call me about rent. But they didn't. And I didn't have any mealworms out because I didn't think I could attract them. Now, my hairdresser, who is about 20 minutes from us, she gets tons of them, but she works to attract them. And I thought, well, why don't I just try? So I, I purchased a bag of the mealworms. And sure enough, I mean, they came in. I mean, I had a lot of them. 
and I so then I purchased a feeder that's supposed to be for bluebirds okay so I put a little bit of that Timmy linen tape on there this might need some Timmy people let's dig out some Timmy people and um the grackles were whacking at that thing and knocking those mealworms on the ground and the bluebirds couldn't even get close get close to it they they the grackles were so piggish oh they were my last nerve I don't want them to starve either, but they were just being horrible. They were just being horrible. They weren't playing nice, girls, okay? They weren't. So, I took that down, and then I... Let's put a little fabric under got a little Timmy fabric here. Let's put a little, maybe some red and um, a gourd, a gourd that had big holes. I know, right, Janice? Oh, they're so rude. So this gourd that I I have has big holes, not like for a birdhouse. It has like three big openings. The 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 um, smaller birds can get inside. Okay, I think I want to put that there. Let's put this little gal. Oh my gosh, she's so stinking cute over here. Mm. I'm gonna pin. I'm gonna get a pin. Let's get a pin. Let's get some of those out. And you don't have to go, you know, you don't have to go overboard with these things. Yeah, well, that's what I did. I took it down and put this gourd out. They haven't really bothered the gourd. Because even if they, it's a little deeper. So even if they whack at it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't knock everything out. So we'll see. So by towards the end of summer, I had a nice um, array of bluebirds that were just, they're just beautiful. I mean, and I'm a little freaky about birds, I got to tell you. But I do love watching them. All right, I'm going to put a couple, I'm going to try to get a couple of little seed beads here just neutral colors on my little bulb pin and I'm going to pin that to my fabric here Kath did you know Jackie had a third grandbaby I don't know if you I don't know if you saw that. You probably did on Facebook. See, I think that will look cute. Okay, let's get this little gal glued down. Let's use some Oh good. Oh Barb, thanks. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. We do we do miss you so much. Everybody's asking, where's Barbara? Where's Barbara? I'm praying for your tush. <laughs> Word of the day. Tush. Tush, tush, tushy tush. I'll never forget this um, fellow that I that I worked with for years. He was funny, Wes. 
and it was mostly women in our office. And uh, we had a circle drive, the building we worked in, right, Kath? And I uh, had a little pond in a circle drive. And um, it had a, a cement bench that kind of curved around the pool, around the pond. And it was old. The homeowners had it. It was a, it was a home that um, the school purchased. And we had our offices in there. And sometimes the girls would go out there and sit. Well, the one gal was a bigger gal like me. And um, she just happened to sit on it. And I think it the bench broke and flipped her. And she, she flipped over. It ended up on the, on the ground. And here comes Wes into the office saying to me, you better get out there. One of your girls just fell off the bench. You're going to have to brush brush off her tuchus. I said, she can brush her own tuchus. I'm not brushing somebody's tuchus. Oh, my gosh. What a nut. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So now that'll be like a little, and I could always add little pages in there if I want. Okay, so we'll do that one. All righty, we're moving along. We're moving along. Oh, this one we're going to put some fluff out the top. We're going to do some fluff. Let's do some fluff. Let's see. I like this fabric. Yes, Monica's beautiful baby girl. Oh my gosh, she had pictures taken. You to see some of these pictures, ladies. Oh my goodness. My niece is um, very much unlike my daughter. My daughter's very um, practical. Not that Monica's not practical. But Monica likes all the fancy pictures taken and stuff. Colleen, if it wasn't for my daughter, Colleen, if it wasn't for her mother-in-law saying, let's get pictures. I don't think we'd have any pictures of the kid. So if Barbara watches this, thank you, Barbara, for the pictures I have of our grandchildren. <laughs> But Gemma, I if I can find it easy on my phone. Where's mine? Where did I where did I got my phone? Of course, she's only a couple weeks old, you know. Let's see if I, you, you girls will enjoy these. Let me see if I can find them easy. I finally learned how to search. So let's see if I go here and I go here. Down, 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 down. Oh no, I have to put I have to put in the kid's name. That's too far down. Mm, that's not working. She did like a little video. I don't know if I can find it on Facebook easy. I don't know if she posted them all here. Oh, she's got it there, but it's covering. Nah. I know I'm holding you up. Okay. Here's one. Oh, this might. Here we go. 
<laughs> the ki I said the kid's gonna have a permanent indentation where her um where the headband goes. Some of the pictures. That's not true, Angie. Don't say stuff like that. Look. See, she's a little chubber. Look at the little rolls. Can you believe these pictures? I said she almost looks like an Ann Gettys baby. Look, that's the one we love. Look at that one. I hope I don't get in trouble for that music. Cute, right? I would never think to have pictures taken like that. Never. But anyway, she's our... And she is now the sister of two little boys. So they were thrilled for a little girl. The oldest, they kept asking him, you want another brother? You want another brother? And he kept saying, I have a brother. I have a brother. Okay, maybe. Let's ink this. I know, right, Kat? I know, right, Gail? She had the boys do, um, like Gail did her boys' pictures too. And of course, I don't remember those, but they were, I remember they were just as cute. All right, I'm crunching up this chunk of chunk of here, and I'm trying to think, what do I have? Like I can stamp a word on there. And I'm okay if I have stuff hanging off the edge. I'm okay with that kind of jazz. I think I might want to put some of this. Gemma Giselle. That's a handful, huh? That might look cool there. Those trees. Let's put some of this on here. I think we're going to call her Gigi. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't like that straight edge. Let's get rid of that. Now see, a lot of you of course realize this and know this, but for people that might be new, you're thinking, oh, you're covering up everything that you put down. Well, that's true, but if it wasn't there, it would be a totally different look. So don't be afraid to cover up stuff. Now, if I wasn't streaming and I was sitting here by myself, I probably would use a liquid glue. And then use my heat gun to dry this because it kind of will get more um, like a see-through-y kind of a look. See-through-y, another really great. Oh, hey, Chris. Good morning. Oh, really? Now, is that the is that the daughter-in-law or the daughter? Because you you have a grandson. Is it the one that already has the son, or is this your daughter daughter? Okay, so that might be good. See if I have any words I can stamp or something I've got here. Let's see. Oh, I just buy this. I love this stamp. Let's get some of that on there. I was using that in my um I don't know if there's any words in there. Hmm. 
that away. Your daughter-in-law still has a month. Oh, okay. So your daughter, daughter. You can't see that too well. That's kind of a lighter color. Instead of using my darker. Oh, see, I'm moving stuff around and I'm getting... You only have grand doggies. My sister Nancy has grand doggie and a grand cat. We're patiently waiting and praying. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I've got something. Let's feel better soon. I don't want that. Thinking of you. Family. Hmm. Have a great day. Happy birthday. This is fun. I want you to stamp on these sometimes. Did anyone miss my nagging to give? <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. A day to celebrate. Oh, I wish I could find that stamp. I wonder what I did with that. Isn't that cute? That would look cute on the, the B one. Get well. Did I already read that one? That's a lovey dovey one. I don't want lovey dovey for this. Maybe I could just use things. I have things I love. Maybe I could just use things. I kind of like that. Use this before. Sometimes you have to really give a little tug here. This is like uh, a Gumby. Remember Gumby? Gumby and what was it? Pokey. Just gonna whack this. I'm whacking it. I'm just gonna cut this off. I've had this for years. I've never really used it. So I might use it more separately. Now let me grab a little stamper block. My stamper blocks are a mess. I need to get these in the sink and give them a wash. This looks. Oh, I like it. All right, so look at this little piece of paper. Ah. Things. It's got this cruddied up pretty nicely. I was going to look for that bumblebee. Excuse me. Excuse my reach here. Uh, 
Oh, here's some words. Friends, that's the one I was looking for. I try to keep my little, oh dear, this, this one might be it. Yeah, that's him. I um, like to keep my little tiny stamps in a separate little container, then I, I know right where they are. Or at least I hope I know right where they are. All right, let's use one of these little, um, you know, from the book plate cuts. And she says, oh, here we go. I'm having mashed potatoes, Salisbury steak, green beans, and macaroni salad. She's my kind of girl, that Angie. That Angie Marie. All right, I don't think if I stamp this B on this card, I'm going to see it very well. So I'm stamping it on this extra page. And I might, might tear that. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Rip these edges. Uh. All right, let's see. So I think that looks better than just stamping it on there. And I could pop that up a little. I have my little. These are very, very thin. As far as a pop-up. So it won't cause too much. I don't really want it up that far. It won't cause too much um, thickness, I don't think. Now it really stuck to the tissue paper. Now the tissue paper is coming up. Usually I add extra. Might have to eat. Use extra, 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 extra. Read all about it. I'm going to scoot a little extra underneath there. Put our little B on there. try to really recap this. So I love my needle nose little glue dispensers, but boy, they do clog very quickly. All right, let's see. Let's ink this. Some people have the knack of being able to just print and write very nicely. I don't think I'm one of them. So I usually do it in pencil first. Was me a chicken? I'm a chicken McNugget. Oh, let's see. No, 
particularly like the way that turned out. Maybe I should just wing it. Be, be wing it. Now, I said I wasn't going to put any words on, but things and bees are kind of generic, so. All right, let's see. Uh, what do I have that I can grab easily? And something that's going to, well, let's try that. We'll do a sample on the back. Yeah, some of the pop dots, you know, were really too, too poppy. Too poppy. All right. Maybe we'll do. Oh, I don't like it at all. Not at all. Maybe I should print it. Oh, so maybe a little better. And I did that backwards. You know, it looks usually looks better once you put it on. Bye, Andrea. Thanks for coming in. Bees. I think I need to just get over myself, you know. It's just, it's a tag for in a journal. For goodness sakes, like what's... <sighs> You know? All right, let's put some of these little dots on there. I'm not a super fan of how that's looking, but you know what? I'm just taking my napkin off the back. I've got a little bit of this brown colored, sorry, down here. Let's put a little bit of this on. Again, layer, 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 layer. Thank you, Pam. You're very sweet. All right, we're going to let that stick out the edge. I might not want everything to look the same, you know, so I'm not going to put any. Not going to put any dirty gauze under there. All right, I have to have a little drink of water here. Oh. Now I want to put some fluff out of the top of this and I want to use some different well different kinds of fibers if I can get some in there so I'm going to use this is just a piece of torn okay Kath thanks for coming love you <clears throat> okay so I'm going to have a piece of that and oh see I've got this stuff I got this at the market. I love this. I don't know. Does anybody know what this is called? It almost looks like dreadlocks. Let me see if I can get a bit of this in here. Let me see. I wonder if I cut a piece off, if I can 
I mean, it's really, it looks like it would pull, pull apart really easy, but it really doesn't. It's, it's quite um, strong. Okay, Ange. You're looking, licking your chops from your lunch. Here, let's, oh yeah, yeah, let's get some of this. Oh, let's get a piece of that. That kind of looks cool. I don't know how practical that is, but it looks cool. And let's get a piece of this. Hey, Chris. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. You know, in a lot of our journals, especially the junk journals, are junky. So you can get away with doing a lot of different things in a journal. You know, like you can put a card that has bees on it in, in any kind of a journal. Not just a garden journal or a bug journal. Same old, same old. It's yours. Do as you wish. And that makes it unique and eclectic and yummy. All right, so I'm just going to gather this and we'll see if we need anything additional. Now, sometimes it's hard to get it started. So I'm just going to poke some of this through. And I think I'm going to take my tiny attacher and let's see if we can get that to, as I stretch to get it. And hopefully I've got some staples in there. And then we'll give it a trim. Now, certainly I could add other things to that when I find, you know, where I want to use it in a project. So that's another one. So it takes time, but if you're sitting at your desk and you're working, working your way back to the girl, burning love inside. Okay, let's see. Uh... You know, you can sit and watch a stream or watch something on TV, on your computer, or <clears throat> well, Ange, I'll take that as a compliment. All right, this is kind of crazy, but this is a like a frosted. I didn't know they were frosted. Fresh balsam. I'm gonna scrub some of this on. And then I'm going to scrub on some of my vintage photo. Because I said I was going to use those. Let's get a baby wipe. But that's also a good thing, Ant, because then they look like yours. I'm just going to blend that a little bit. That green kind of disappeared. I'm just going to put a bee charm on that other one and I forgot. All right. So things, huh? Let's... Uh, I don't care for that. I'm going to take just the little section out here. Thank you, Angie. I'm going to 
take just that date, January 7th. It reminds me of my dad. My dad's birthday was January 17th. Isn't that funny? But just seeing that seven there reminds me of my daddy. The best, best, best guy I ever knowed was my daddy. All right, I'm going to stack that, I think, under there like that. But this is going to need something else on it. I think even just to make it now I could leave it like that but I think it needs a little something else now this is a little freestanding here hey Becca how are you nice to see you So, I love these little pins. I love pinning things on. Oh, where did I put? I haven't talked about this gal in a while. Her name is Susie Hines. She's a Tim Holtz maker. And her channel is called, okay, Gail. Okay, I'm sure you do. Be praying for you, girlfriend. All right, all right. Let us know, Gail, how you make out. Okay, Ange, have a good day with your family. Don't get aggravated. In here, I've just got a bunch of um, bits from uh, the spines of books, you know, when I take books apart. I just I like the way this stuff looks. And Susie Hines goes by... Uh, Shabby Soul. Right? I think that's I think that's what her shabby soul. I think that's what she's called her channel. And she does amazing, amazing things with Tim Holtz products. Now somewhere on my crowded desk, I have my little box from oh there it is. I think they're in there. Maybe I'm I could have moved them. Well we'll see. I got this little box in a, what do they call it, a, um, no, oh, I moved them. I want to say tag shop, but that's a charity shop in uh, England. Got this in York, I think. Maybe I did a little chip there. And I had them in there. Where the heck did I move them to? Susie uses those reinforcement circles and then hangs them on these bolt pins and they are marvelous. Okay, so where do I have my other supply of those? I've got a supply of those. I have them they were right here. I wanted to show you that because it's so clever. And so, oh, look, I found my tinkle tape. Maybe we can use tinkle tape on something. I thought I had popped them right here. Oh, Lord, Lord. See, as I work, and this is probably the same for you, as you work and you start using things, you think of other things you have in your stash or things maybe you recently had your little mix on and other ideas and things that you've seen other folks do and they come to your mind. And then you start thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, I could incorporate that. I could do that. I could do, see, and then, and then you don't, you don't use it because you can't find it. 
I've got some of these whale tail things pre-trimmed out, pre-cut. And let's see. I was thinking about using one of these. Bye, Janice. I didn't see Janice. Scoot. All right, let's paint a little coffee on this. Kind of knock that back a little bit. I'm going to use my heat, heat tool. I wish I could think of where I put my. Do you know what I mean when I say reinforcement circle? When I was a kid, you know, you had your loose leaf paper, and then you had those little white circles that you could put on the holes of your loose leaf paper so that um, it was sturdier and it didn't come out of your binder. So what Susie does, I, I know I saw it on at least one of her journals. She, well, I'm assuming this is what she does. She stamps or distresses those reinforcement circles. And then she, she sticks them back to back. So then they just become like a little paper disc that you then can use as an embellishment. And they're so freaking cute. Not just cute, freaking cute, I'm saying. Freaking cute, freaking cute. All right, I'm sneaking a peek in, sneaking a peek in the drools. Ah, there's old ones, but I don't think, I think they're clear. That's not going to work. <laughs> Goodness, goodness, goodness. Would you like to put a song carrying a beam song in a child? You'd be better off than you are home. Do 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 do. Now, of course, I have a whole tablet of just Tim Holtz reinforcement rings. No idea what they are either. I could swear I had the whole big. Uh, package that I set right here next to me. Now, I'll be on a hunt for those. I'll probably find them right after I'm done screaming. Screaming, screaming. I love to copy ideas like that. But I do like to give credit when I see them and I try to remember, you know, who, I, who I've seen do it. Like, um, there may be other people that have done this, I'm, maybe, I'm sure, but I know I've seen Susie do it. That's where I saw them done. But it's just something different to hang on your... Yeah, see, these are clear and these, are, these aren't paper. These are like a... Um, they're sturdier consistency mm, oh well gotta let it go got to let it go i'm only going to be on for a few more minutes i feel like my system is out of whack and i think my time is about done so let's finish up this one Let 
was thinking I might like to stick this on here. And I like to punch a little hole. I'm not going to get into the um, eyelet thing, but you certainly could do an eyelet. I'm just going to punch a little hole here. And I think I'm going to stick that right there. Right there. All right, let's scoot this in here. All right. And uh, let's get a little charm. Let's dangle a little charm from here. Uh, let's see, what do we have that might work? Of course, I could always switch this out. Let's just get something little. That's a little heart. Got an extra little thing on it. Look at that. That's just like a little band, a little. That might look cute. Let's use that one. I don't know if that will really be classified as a charm. But we're going to use it. And I'm just going to pop my pin in there. Now I still have a little. See, I didn't. I didn't uh, glue that down. That wasn't uh, intentional, but I'm going to take advantage of it. And somewhere on this, here we go. I've got a little bit of my cheese cloth. I think I might tuck some of that under there. Oops, look, I didn't cap my... Oh, that's not good, Laura. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to stuff a little bit. Stuff a stuff a stuff a stuff a stuff a No, I didn't use any buttons. I mean, you can use buttons. Oh, Chris, sorry to hear that. Uh... Good enough. Where's, let's see if we can put another little dimension thing here. Give us another little. Mm. I kind of like that. All right, so I'm just doing the hot glue because it's quick. Pop that down. Pop a little hot glue on the back of these two. Oh, I think I could have used the other side. So, all right. Then I hear somewhere on my desk earlier I had, I thought, oh, that'll be good for today. And when you get um, lace, say that's gathered, you know, uh, I don't particularly like it for my work, my artwork. I mean, the lace is beautiful, but it's all gathered, and I like my lace to be flat. Now, what do you see? I'm not going to be able to find that. I mean, no wonder. My desk is a mess. But I've said this before, too, and some of the other girls have shared. You can take that off very easily. 
with this uh, seam ripper. And you get this. Well, some of it is, um, sometimes it'll be real, here it is, it'll be real stiff. And it's just, I mean, it's okay. I still use it. But other times you'll get this really fine mesh kind of netting. So it's like a super bonus because you get your lace that's then flat. And then this wonderful piece of fine mesh. I save all that, girls. Because I love it for my tags. And, you know, for the bits that go out the top. This is a piece of, like, it's not a, do you call that a salvaged edge? I don't know. Maybe Pam would know. It's like, hey, Shaz. It's like, um, you know, zig, it's not zigzagged. It's like, um, I'm sure there's a certain word. Let's see if it'll straighten out for you. It's, it's like, um, yeah, see, it's all like wrapped around the edge so it doesn't fray. So I'm going to take a bit of that and I'm going to take my top of my, um, my lace. And uh, what else might I have here? I just get a little piece of twine. I have some twine I threw here. So I didn't get a whole lot done today, but I would stay, but I'm, I'm really thinking I, I, I should go. I think I had a little bit of, a little bit of a, a bagel this morning with some cream cheese. And I think my cream cheese wasn't so good. So I'm going to put my little piece of twine with that. And I use a little tool, my little pokey tool here to get this to go through. And I might hot glue this one. Let's just see, rather than using the stapler. Let's see how that looks. So I'm planning to be on tomorrow evening at 5.30. Not sure what I'm going to do. And you can do, you know, different lengths of this stuff. It doesn't have to all be matchy-matchy and perfect. All right, I'm going to trim some of this. Different lengths. Now, it takes a while if you're going to build... A stash of stuff you know you just you just don't do this in one sitting but now I've got a couple of options I'm gonna sneak some hot glue back in here I've got a couple ideas for tomorrow evening but i the one idea i need to get some prep work done and i'm not sure that's going to happen so i don't want to promise <laughs> oh can't sleep oh i'm sorry to hear that shaz i hope that writes itself for you that's miserable when that happens and let me get behind here scoot in a little hot glue. I don't always use hot glue. I use it a lot because that's like a comfort thing from my arts and craft days, you know. And stuff usually stays where you put it if you do it correctly. I can always add more fluff to this if I want. If I'm going to use this uh, in a project that has a specific color, you know, I still have room there that I could add a little something salted. Okay. So we did this one. And then we did this one. This one's a little taller. 
but I trimmed these down from some little fat ones that I had um, cut out. And then this is just a piece of cardstock that we just layered up and did some different things with. And then I can trim this, put a hole in it. I could cut it down um, and use that as a tag or some kind of a stuffer i thought i did one more oh yeah where's my little my little book kind of a thingy that's got the little gal on it she's so cute we did this one so this was just an index card All right so the inside you could use to write some notes or whatever in in your journal and uh, just a few little embellishment things, and that'll stick in a little tuck-in spot. I'm sorry I've got a call early today, girls. I do enjoy this so very much. I like having company while I'm fussing around my table. Oh, thanks, Shaz. But my time is gone. I need to. I need to go into the other room and. Maybe take a little something from my tummy. Actually, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so thanks for being here. It's Sunday. So you've got some options coming up later today. I hope to see you all tomorrow evening, 5.30 Eastern. And um, goodness me. Let's see. Can I remember? I think uh, we've got, of course, Murray on later. And uh, Tanya's coming up. Uh, PM Studio's probably still on. And um, Xandra. You know, we've got options, ladies. Thanks for joining me. I enjoy having this little time together to arts and crafts. So behave. Thank you, Sherry. I'll see you next time. Thank you, Barbara. Oh, Barbara, it was so nice to see you. <clears throat> and uh, don't forget our dear Gail. She's going to have knee replacement on Tuesday. And uh, you probably know some other folks that maybe need a little encouragement and a little extra hug. All right. So we'll see you soon, okay? And don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.